Hi. This is an instructional video on how to use Tintype text to convert your scanned typewritten image files, in JPEG image format, into rich text format documents. Here are some important pointers when performing OCR. For best results, the typewritten text should be double-spaced, to avoid segmentation mistakes or omissions, and the typewritten pages should be scanned at a resolution of 600 dpi, as this resolution was used when writing the code. Every typewritten line should have at least five adjoining letters, in order to be properly detected. Should a line only contain a word with four or fewer letters, you could make up for the missing letters by using any character, overlaid with a hashtag, which will be interpreted by the code as a typo, and will not impact the meaningful text in the final RTF document. The hashtag character is reserved for designating typos, and should not be used otherwise when typing on the typewriter. The at symbol is reserved to designate characters that are to be deleted, Watch instructions video 2 for more details, and should not be used on your typewriter, if it has such a type slug. It should be noted that one of the typewriters with which the code was developed, 1968, Olivetti Underwood letter of 33, doesn't have specific type slugs for numbers 0 and 1. After the OCR step, the Python code will interpret whether the surrounding characters are also digits, and assign the values to instances of uppercase O, and lowercase L, accordingly. It also converts the uppercase O into 0. If it is in one of the closing RTF formatting commands, for example backslash I, capital O, is changed to backslash I, 0. Even if your typewriter has type slugs for 0 and 1, make sure that they are very distinct in appearance from the uppercase O, and lowercase L, in order to ensure good OCR accuracy. Otherwise, just use the letters instead. Also, the equal sign on the typewriter is interpreted as a backslash if it is followed by a letter or an RTF escape. For an in-depth explanation of all the most common RTF commands and escapes, please consult the link in the description. It is recommended to include a space between your text and parentheses, to reduce segmentation issues due to staggered character rectangles. The Python code automatically removes these spaces, if present, in the final RTF document. There will be times where some OCR errors will occur. You can pinpoint where the errors took place by observing when the formatting errors began in the RTF document. For instance, in the RTF document displayed in LibreOffice Writer, the first paragraph, after the title, is centered, when it should be left aligned in the basic RTF mode, because of the two equals par RTF commands after the title. Furthermore, the word enabling is misspelled because of an OCR error in converting the typewritten character A into an S. Lastly, the last bold RTF command carries over until the end of the document when it should stop after the word bold. If the error is located within a word, then it will likely result in a misspelled word being present in the RTF file, which can be readily found by the presence of a red squiggly line underneath it. However, if the OCR errors are located within RTF commands, you might need to open the RTF file in a basic text editor, such as text editor in Ubuntu, in order to inspect the RTF commands more closely. Right-click on the RTF file, select Open with other application, then view all applications, and select text editor. If you inspect the RTF file in the basic text editor, you can observe that both backslash, par d, RTF commands after the title have an OCR error, in that the A is converted into an S. As for the last closing bold RTF command, it reads backslash b, lowercase o, instead of backslash b, zero. To correct these, simply replace the erroneous letters for the correct ones, save the RTF file in the text editor, and reopen the RTF file in your word processor by double-clicking on it. You now see that the mistakes are corrected. Of course, you can also correct these mistakes directly in the word processor instead of correcting the underlying RTF commands, but this demonstration was useful in illustrating what happens in the event of OCR errors. Despite these issues, the code has successfully located characters on lines with at least five successive letters, with a segmentation success rate above 99.99% for the training slash validation data consisting of over 25,000 characters. The only issue reported with the training and validation data was an omitted period. As for the OCR accuracy, it was consistently above 99.8% regardless of the hyperparameters investigated, other than kernel size, provided a good size dataset is used for training.